in this video, we'll take a look at upgrading MPP phone from older MPP firmware to 12-0-4 MPP firmware. We're going to be using the Cloud Upgrader site, upgrade.cisco.com, and the specific item we'll be leveraging is on the bottom left corner, Upgrade MPP Firmware. This site does also have options for upgrading 8875 firmware and also upgrading the new 9800 phone firmware. We're going to focus on upgrading the MPP firmware. We're going to be using an 8800 series phone. And one thing to note here is this assumes the phone has a minimum 11.0.0 firmware. I do have other videos I've posted if you cannot use this method to upgrade firmware using a local TFTP server or an HTTP server. To identify the IP address of the phone, you can follow steps 1 through 5 here, which I'll show in a moment. And then we're going to be leveraging the manual upgrade method. Basically, once we log into the phone, admin advanced, this will be the IP address of the phone. We're going to go under Voice tab, Provisioning tab. We're going to copy the following profile role and paste it into the profile role field. We're going to save and we're going to wait for the phone to update the firmware reboot. Typically, this process of firmware updating, generally three to five minutes. It can take definitely longer if there's limitations on internet access or there's contention with if you're doing many phones then this can easily stretch out to 10, 15, 20 or more minutes. The reboot is about a minute and a half and so this will be good if you're doing a few phones manual upgrade and this is what I'll be showing today. There's another method doing bulk upgrade and this is if you have a fleet of phones you can do you can use DHCP option 160 and that can actually offer to the phone the cloud upgrader URL. And I would still recommend doing a few phones to validate that the steps work before you commit to a large fleet of phones if you're going to do bulk upgrade. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the phone now. And we're going to go ahead and identify what is the current firmware. So we're going to go product information under status. Okay. And then we can see towards the bottom there, it's going to list software version. This phone has extremely old firmware, 11-1.2 or 11.1.2. Next, we're going to check the IP address of the phone. So we're going to go down to IPv4 status, IP status. And then if you notice on this page, it says IP address. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this page again. And we're going to copy the profile role. So we're going to go to the phone's IP address under the voice provisioning. And then I'm going to copy the profile role from this location. Okay. So let's go and log in as admin. Advanced. We're going to go to Voice, Provision, Provisioning tab, and then we're going to paste the profile rule that we just copied. And everything looks good shape, so we should be ready to go in and submit all changes. Okay, so this part right now, it may appear like the phone is doing nothing because it doesn't actually indicate any type of progress bar. Generally, three to five minutes, if there's no bandwidth limitations from the phone going out to internet, it may take longer, as I mentioned, if you're doing many phones or if the internet access is saturated or there's limitations of bandwidth. Let's say it's a rural site and the internet bandwidth is limited. One item you can look at is if this is connected to a switch that has an LED or it's visually um, in your eyesight, you'll, you'll be able to see the packer rate on the switch really start ratcheting up. 
versus an idle state. Also, if you have access to the switch, either command line or web interface, you can take a look at what the packet counters show as far as what are the packets per second. On some of the switches, the um, packet counters uh, may take a bit to refresh, so you may not see anything instantaneously. But in any case, we'll give it about three to five minutes and we should see some activity pop up here. The phone normally will display a message indicating there's a firmware upgrade that is occurring in the phone reboot. So that is something you'll definitely see. The the other thing to also, okay, there we go. Firmware upgrade in progress. The other thing I was also going to mention is um, if you don't see any type of progress after X amount of minutes, and again, typically three to five minutes, but let's say you're not sure, maybe there's limitations on bandwidth as far as internet capacity from the site you're working on. After about 10, 15, 20 minutes, if there's no activity, at that point of time, um, I would say it would be suspect if something's maybe blocking the phone from being able to do the firmware upgrade. So you definitely would want to check to see if, one, does the phone have internet access, and number two, you know, is there any type of indication if you do like a Wireshark capture to see if there's any indication of the phone sending out packets to fetch the firmware from the cloud upgrade site, but nothing is coming back. Also, you can check if there's any type of DNS issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The phone does have a PCAP option on board. One thing I should note is if the phone has a very old firmware, you may not be able to um, actually log into the phone directly uh, with current web browsers. So one thing I found is if you use an older version of Firefox, I'm showing an example right now, version 15.0b6. Um, generally, an older version of Firefox, older version of Firefox generally will get you in if the phone or other device has older firmware. So that's something to take note of. Okay, so we're seeing this phone actually just booted up. The date and time will definitely be off, so don't don't let that throw you. And then we'll go in and take a look at the software version. So if you notice, it's 1204 MPP. So um, the phone is updated, the firmware. Um, this is the interactivation code for doing WebEx calling. In any case, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you. Thank you.